Hey everybody, it's Safi and Marco, Dish Out on Movies, the only movie review show on YouTube to review movies in terms of food. And it's just Marco here once again, and I am here not to play a trick on you guys. Uh, in fact, I was debating whether or not to do a video today or what video to do in general, because, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Whenever there's a like a major holiday, you know, the holiday itself is usually terrible. And it's usually like, it, it just feels like a hellish experience where it just never ends. And it doesn't really feel fun or like a party at all. <laughs> Sorry. Well, sometimes it does. I mean, Easter wasn't that bad. But then the day afterwards, it, there, it, it just feels like a hangover. You know, like it feels like, ugh, you know, the entire day because it's settling in that like it's just a regular day and it's not a holiday anymore. And uh, you, you know what I did last night, too? So for some of the nights, I've been having trouble sleeping due to my uh, sinus issues that I'm still uh, getting better. <laughs> I'm still sick and... Uh, well, some nights I have trouble sleeping. I have to basically just lie around for like an hour waiting for my sinuses to open and to stop being so irritating. In fact, like right now, I've got some <laughs> sinus issues. And so sometimes, for some reason, I sleep on the opposite side of the bed. And I'm not even kidding you guys. Like, for some reason... When I'm really having trouble sleeping, and last night I didn't get to sleep until like 1 in the morning, uh, I, I just switched sides, and I guess, you know, one of the sides of the bed, it kind of feels a little bit more softer, a little bit more like someone has slept there, and then the other side is more firm, and so like, I don't know why, but <laughs> I was able to get to sleep there sleeping on the wrong side of the bed. So I'm literally having to purposefully sleep on the wrong side of the bed. You know that saying when someone uh, woke up on the wrong side? Well, I, I'm doing that on purpose now. And and also, I wanted to mention this too. Oh, no, wait, no. I'll, I'll mention that with Safi. There was something really funny that happened last week that I forgot to mention on video. And it would have been really hilarious to hear her reaction. So I'll just save that. And so this month, just a quick update. This month, we will be finishing up Best Picture Week, which, eh, not really looking forward to that. We will also be doing comedies. Safi picked out like five or so comedy movies that she wanted to watch and review. It's a random assortment of movies and... Some of them might be terrible, but hopefully not. And finally, we will be doing Alice and Mac April, <laughs> which is it's going to be pretty hilarious. You know, like I, I, I think it'd, it'd be funny to do just as like a joke, just to do like a whole like month around her because like she's so terrible and just to, to, to spend an entire month like, uh, reviewing her stuff would be really, really funny. And also, I am going to be shooting one sequence this month. I don't know what days I'll be shooting yet. I'm not really sure, because I just want to, at this point, I keep on, like, you know, they, they tell me to, like, rest and stuff like that, but I just keep on, like, not resting and because I don't like not being active, and so... You know, I keep on, like, putting off getting better, I guess. So, like, I guess I'm just going to try and focus on getting better as much as possible and then shoot the, uh, shoot the sequence. It's it's going to be, like, a day or so. It's going to be, like, a similar situation to uh, February where uh, there probably won't be a video for a day or two. So that that's just a heads up to let you guys know. Anyways, finally, the subject of this video, I might be in the minority here, 
ironically, since I'm not a minority, except I guess I'm in the minority of people who are cool nowadays. Uh, mostly everyone is fucking retarded, uh, especially Scotland. If you look up what Scotland did, like, yeah, Scotland sucks. I'll never be going there. So anyways... I might be in the minority, but I think that Brax Jelly Beans are better than Jelly Belly. Uh, personally, I don't like Jelly Belly Jelly Beans very much at all. I hate how small they are. I hate how artificial some of them taste. I think Tutti Fruity is highly overrated because it's just bubblegum, and there's already a bubblegum flavor, and I just think that, like, I hate Jelly Belly. Honestly, especially in comparison to these, I mean, Brax Jelly Beans, they're so much bigger. They're so much tastier. They smell better, too. They don't smell so artificial and waxy and fake. I mean, mmm, I mean, they smell so good. I have a lot of good memories of Easter of, of what, guys? Playing video games, because that's really what Easter is all about. There was one Easter in particular. I think it was one of my favorite Easters. And I was up in my brother's room. I, I can't remember if he was still in school at this point or not. I Oh, he probably was. Because he took away like a lot of the game systems so that he could sell them and shit. And uh, anyways, I was playing Bully on the PS2. If you guys have ever played the Rockstar Bully game... That is definitely, like, a top-tier video game. Like, that's one of my top 20 favorites of all time. And I was just sitting there playing Bully. I got my Easter basket with all the Easter candy. And I just had, like, a bowl of Brax jelly beans. And it was just, it was such an incredible and amazing experience. You know, I was sitting on the floor, and it was nice and warm and everything. And, you know, being in that house, too playing Bully on the PS2. It was such a fun experience. That was definitely a great Easter. And so I thought today, just to do a random video, would be to rank these couple of flavors of Brax Jelly Beans. I wish that they would make some more, because they're, they're so much better at making Jelly Beans than Jelly Belly. Like, seriously, I want Brax to dominate the jelly bean world. In fact, I think it would be really cool if they made a jelly bean movie. You know, speaking of, like, movies that are purely made to sell products, it would be really cool to see, like, a Jelly Be Belly versus Brax movie or something. I don't know. Any uh, anyways. Also, yesterday... I wanted to do something kind of special, and by special, I just mean something besides sitting around uh, playing with myself and just being so bored because it's fucking Easter, uh, and so I decided to try some Jelly Belly combinations, you know, where you take like a chocolate jelly bean and you take a banana one, and it's quote-unquote chocolate-dipped banana, or, I mean, a banana dipped in chocolate. So I tried a couple of flavors. I tried Root Beer Float. That one was not very good because it was just overpowering with root beer. And so, like, because they, they tell you to have two root beer and one cream soda, and, and, and I just, and I think maybe coconut or something, and I just thought the root beer was way too overpowering. I also tried uh, a banana, banana cream pie or banana pudding. That one was actually pretty good. It tasted kind of like a banana cream pie or whatever. You guys know how much I like cream pies especially when it comes to Winona Ryder. I wish that they would make a Winona Ryder flavored jelly bean. What do you think it would taste like? I think it would taste like white chocolate with a little bit of fudge at the end. 
<laughs> I want to make a Winona Ryder jelly bean myself. Like, is there a way? How to make jelly bean at home. Let's see. Homemade jelly beans. You can. Cool. Guys, I am literally going to be making a Winona Ryder jelly bean. It's going to be fucking amazing. I'm going to sell it, make a million dollars, and uh, get a big poster of Winona Ryder I can put on the wall or something. I don't know. <laughs> this random woman from Alaska is teaching us how to make jelly beans. Let's see. How do you do it? Water, sugar, gelatin, juice, salt, cornstarch, food colorings. Ooh, jelly bean molds. Oh, that'd be kind of tough. Maybe I should use the bologna. Because I got bologna. I am going to be making a Winona Ryder sandwich. You know, the sandwich that she makes in uh, Mermaids. And I'm going to be eating it on camera. It's going to be pretty hot. Anyways, guys, this seems kind of, like, hard to do. But I guess I'll do it for Winona. For, uh, what was her character's name in the movie? I can't even remember. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on. Let's finally, let's taste these jelly beans. Because, like, here's the thing about jelly beans. Like, I never eat jelly beans except for when it comes to Easter. Like, when it comes to Easter, it's all about chocolate and peanut butter and then jelly beans. But this year, I actually started eating the Cadbury eggs, too. You know, just the little chocolate ones where it's a uh, chocolate covered in a shell. Because I really don't like the Cadbury cream eggs. But I love the Cadbury chocolate eggs. So I've been eating those like a fiend. Just have like a little handful and nibble on them. Yeah. I didn't even watch anything yesterday on Easter. I just wrote another script. Like I just was writing like the whole day. That's what I did. Because like, that's the thing about writing. You never know when you're going to be in the mood to write. And, and and so it's like, because a lot of the times you want to write, like you're in the mood to write, like kind of where, you know, you're like, I want to write, I want to get the script done. And then when it gets to the actual writing point, you're like, nah, I just, uh, I don't know what to say here. I don't know what to do. Or you, you just kind of feel overwhelmed. But then there are those days like yesterday where it's just it, it just pours out of you naturally. It all comes out naturally. It just squirts out of you onto the page. And uh, it's pretty good so far. I mean, it, it's one of the stories that I pitched to you guys. And it's, it's pretty good. I, I like it quite a bit. It's a nice, refreshing change of pace. It is something, though, where it's kind of scary because... It seems like something I probably couldn't make at a low budget, unfortunately. And so, if I ended up making it, I guess I would have to kind of tone it down somewhat. So, but that's the point. Like, when you, when you write something for the first time, you don't, like, you don't think about budget. You don't think about, oh, I can't cast these people you you have to start off with just nothing but pure creative intent and so yeah i mean i i love the names that i came up with for the characters too like the main characters like they have like the greatest i would say they're my favorite names in name history and i'm i should i tell you guys I think it's too soon to tell you, but, like, the, these names are just so, like, amazing that I'm, I'm like, in love with these characters just based on their names. 
Like, they're just so unique. They're just so beautiful. Especially one of them, because it's, it's basically just, like, revealing who I would want to cast as the character, uh, but kind of, like, in, like, a smart, cutesy way. But at the same time, it is also a name that could be real. And so, like, you can't really say it's, like, that is that person or anything, because it, it could be real. I mean, I saw a person today, and they shared, like, the same name as some, like, fictional character. I can't remember, but, like, I saw that today on Twitter. So, yeah, let's get around to the jelly beans now. But wait a second. Oh, yeah, I, I also... I saw... A, there's a new trailer on YouTube for a, a Planet of the Apes movie, the Disney version. So, of course, it's all about uh, the main ape teams up with a strong whammon. And uh, let's see what what's going on here. Because I want to react to this trailer. I never do videos about trailers or anything. And so this is kind of special. It's special. Like me. And like Disney. And like apes. And your mom. So this, this video right here. Let's, let's turn off all the sound. Because we have learned in the past in YouTube. That YouTube. Or somebody. I don't know who came up with the dipshit idea. Of like copywriting trailers. And making it to where if you just post a trailer and react to it, you're breaking copyright laws. Because, like, that's free promotion right there. And I'll never forget, I was trying to start making, like, uh, progressively better videos. And I made a uh, top 10 movies of 2020 uh, a video. And I put in each movie's trailer on the full list video. Because I thought, even though this is a bitch to do, it's going to be worth it because it's higher quality. Because it'll be like those more professional videos, quote unquote. And so, my number one movie of 2020 was The Gentleman. Guess what happened, guys? I spent like 10 hours editing that video. 10 fucking hours. And then that video immediately gets taken down for copyright because I had the gentleman's trailer in the video. And I thought, maybe this is just a mistake. So I re-uploaded it again. Boom. Immediately it got taken down. There's some Middle Eastern country. I think it was Turkey, unsurprisingly. Turkey fucking sucks. Uh... As well as Scotland. But Scotland isn't Middle Eastern, thankfully. Like, could you imagine if the if the Scottish government got together with the Turkish and they, they just created, like, a new terrorist regime? Like, just a new regime called, like, Scottish Turkey? Like, that would be terrifying. No, I'm just kidding. But, uh, it was just so idiotic and asinine that, like, I was promoting The Gentleman as the best movie of that year. And what do I get for that? What do I get for promoting a great movie? Oh, they take the video down because I, I had the trailer in the video with the number one over it. Like, who fucking cares? Like, God, what a fucking... It's just so stupid. And, like, I'll, I'll say this, too. Like, if you want to react to my trailer when it comes out, then feel free to. And I don't give a fuck if you have the fucking trailer in full on your fucking screen while you're reacting to it or talking about it. Uh, it because it's, it's so stupid. It's so childish and dumb. So, yeah, like, that was my lesson learned of, like, never uploading trailers again, except if it's for my own movies. Because, like, fuck you guys and your uh, free promotion that you could have gotten on this channel back when it only had, like, 100 subscribers or so, like, fuck you. So anyways, I guess we should get around to the Brax Jelly Bean ranking. Yeah. Well, oh wait, we forgot to react to this trailer. Okay, Kingdom of the Apes Planet. Yeah. <laughs> 
And you know what's sad, too? I was really looking forward to Godzilla X Kong because, like, I thought with the right filmmaking and the right script and the right techniques, these movies could be as good as the Planet of the Apes movies. Because, like, God's... I mean, King Kong, he was always, like, a character in his movie. Like, he wasn't just some dumb big monster. He was always a character. Godzilla was always a character, you know? And so I really don't like how these American movies have just kind of made it so dumbed down and so uh, cartoony and, and just like a blockbuster. And this trail, You know what this trailer's like? There's a fucking Kipper episode that this trailer's ripping off. It's it's about Kipper versus the park monster. And basically, uh, Kipper and his friends, they go to this field. And this entire fucking trailer takes place in the field? Oh my god. <laughs> like, what is this, like, a clip for the movie? That's so stupid. And so basically, like, each one of them pretends they're the park monster... And you have to hide from it or something, or they have to find it, I can't remember. But, like, this trailer is literally the same thing. Like, you got the, the strong whammon, and, and, and she's got perfect teeth, by the way. She's got perfect teeth thousands of years after the apocalypse has happened. I don't know how the fuck that happened. Uh, I mean, she looks like a model with, like, the dirt option on her. Like, you know how dirt is fashionable? And, oh, shit, there's a gorilla chasing her. Caesar's coming to the rescue. Or No, wait, no, this isn't Caesar. This is, uh, I don't know, some random whatever ape. Probably he's, at least he's not going to grape her, you know. That's one of my biggest pet peeves, by the way, with YouTube, with, like, modern YouTube channels. Is like these stupid YouTube channels where like the, the the YouTubers are so pussified that they can't say real words. Like they can't say sexual assault. They have to say S-A and they can't say like a uh, rape and so they say grape. And it's like grow a pair of balls, fucktards. Like YouTube sucks. Just fuck. Just fuck it all. Just fuck everything. And they have this big in IMAX and it's like, you know what? I don't give a fuck about IMAX. I care about the story. What's the story here? It's just like this apes protecting the strong whammon from the other apes. It's like, what's going on here? This is very much like a Disney story right here. Like, this is just, it does not, uh. There's even, oh, there's even a Disney death. Guys, if you don't know, like, every single Disney villain dies by like getting pushed off a cliff and falling somewhere right here there is like an ape falling into the fire <laughs> like it's a disney movie uh yeah this movie's gonna suck this movie's gonna suck big black ape dick this movie's gonna suck big gorilla dick this movie's gonna suck the big one i mean who the fuck is this new character i mean it, it just yeah, this this movie's gonna suck. I mean, I can already. I mean, we're already seeing like the whole story right here too. By the way, it's like there's not really. It doesn't seem like there's gonna be any surprises in the movie. It just seems like this is one of those stories we've seen a million times. You have two kingdoms that are opposing each other, and they're protecting this woman and stuff and like. Yeah, it just, it's, I've seen this movie before for sure. Enter the Kingdom. Yeah. Did I ever tell you about the gay gorilla sex that we saw at the Columbus Zoo? Guys, uh, our class went to the Columbus Zoo in fifth grade. And uh, I was with my closeted gay friend at the time. He was a closeted gay guy who ended up being a huge piece of shit and uh he still is closeted too by the way and so we were at like the gorilla part and we saw like this grandpa gorilla come up to this young gorilla and he started sucking him off 
and then another adult gorilla joined in, and they were all having gay sex with each other in the cage, and it was it was like the funniest thing ever. And there was this woman, and she was like, "I'm putting this on YouTube," <laughs> and she was she was filming it and shit. So yeah, this trailer sucked, by the way. This, then that didn't look very good. They basically it was basically like a clip was like an extended clip of that field sequence. Uh, yeah. So, oh, what was this video about again? Uh, oh yeah, I got a new G Fuel flavor. It's Chucky flavored. It's Good Guys flavored. Yeah. It's kind of like an orange flavor, and it was supposed to be blood orange. If you guys don't know, like, Blood Orange was the first ever G Fuel flavor that I got, ever. And I really loved it a lot. And so it was really disappointing when I got this Good Guys G Fuel. And it did, it doesn't taste like the Blood Orange G Fuel at all. And I don't really think it is Blood Orange flavored. So... It kind of feels like a sham. Anyways... Jelly beans. Yeah. Jelly beans. Let's start off with uh, orange. Mm. And they don't stick to your teeth as much either. Mm. Okay, orange is not that great. There's hardly any flavor. It's so sugary tasting. Let's try lemon. That one actually has a little bit more flavor, so I'm going to put that above orange, surprisingly. Even though I would prefer orange overall. Like, uh, if it was Jelly Belly. Okay, now let's try lime. Yeah, I don't like that one. I'm putting that below orange. It's just kind of like, yeah, that's lime flavor, but not very good. Safi made key lime pie for Easter. I didn't need it. <laughs> now let's try grape. Now, from what I remember, grape is the worst flavor. This is purple. You know, I just don't see the point in having a grape jelly bean. I love, like, grape Skittles and grape, uh, grape popsicles, but I don't like grape jelly beans, so let's try it. Yeah, oh, girl, God, it tastes terrible. Oh, that is like a, ooh, it's like medicine. It's like a, like a little tablet that you take if you have a fever or something. I don't know, <laughs> like, it's, that is gross, ew. Ugh. Now let's try uh, cherry. That's the best one so far, I guess. Mmm. That one tastes pretty good. Okay, I like that one. That one's pretty damn good. It's been the only good flavor so far. And also, we do not have licorice. For some reason, there was no licorice that came in this bag. Really confusing because licorice is one of the classic Brax flavors. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it above lime because it's, it's just kind of like an educated guess because I've had, I've had that jelly bean before. Okay, let's try coconut. Oh, yeah. Now we're to the good stuff. Oh, yeah. Yum, 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 yum. 
Mmm. I really like that one for sure. Lastly, let's let's try strawberry. Hmm. I like that one a lot, but it doesn't have as much flavor as the coconut. So, oh, that was pretty easy. Actually, now that I have tasted these, I have determined that they are not as good as Jelly Belly after all, because they really do not have as much flavor. Uh, that is really awkward. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say. So, from, from worst to best, worst one is grape. Grape tastes like, uh, it tastes like medicine. Lime tastes like lime a little bit, but it's just really kind of bitter and unpleasant. Licorice is licorice is licorice. Orange is disappointing because it doesn't hit you with the orange flavor that you, you're really looking for in an orange jelly bean. Lemon is actually surprising because I don't really like lemon-flavored things, but it's actually okay. Like, I think it's a good lemon flavor uh, a little bit. Cherry is actually pretty good. Cherry is nice and pleasant. Everyone knows what it is. And, yeah. Second best one is strawberry. This one is just really, really nice and soothing. The taste is very, very nice, very good. And finally, the best one is coconut. This one has the, the most amount of flavor that, that hits you. And so I think that's what really makes it the best, is the fact that it has all this flavor that is just, it's bursting with flavor. <clears throat> Excuse me. So anyways, that's my jelly bean ranking. And yeah... That was like two seconds of the video. That's kind of what I was hoping for. So yeah, April Fools, everybody. Because I, I spent the rest of the video talking about random shit. So anyways, please like this video and comment. Tell me your favorite types of jelly beans. And uh, tell or tell me if you disagree. And, and tell me if you think that Brax is better and why. And then please subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more honest videos like this. Goodbye, everybody. See you soon.